I want to make some tallow. Um, tallow is a good uh, uh, oil-based uh, natural product that you can get from harvested uh, hooved animals outside of pig uh, that makes candles, uh, torches, the lubrication um, for um, a sealant for wood products and stuff like that. And so um, you can usually get tallow, which is the fat from an animal, like uh, a cattle, steer, deer, reindeer, elk, arrow, elk moose, etc., etc., um, after you've harvested. Uh, and so what I'm going to do here, what I bought, unfortunately, is I don't have any um, actual tallow from like a deer, um, but you can buy it in the store. And uh, this is beef called beef suet. And um, it's really cheap. You can see that it's only two bucks, um, depending on where you buy it at. And uh, I'm sure you can get it from butcher shops as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop this up, and we're gonna fry it. We're gonna fry it down. So uh, and then after that, uh, we'll have a product that actually never. It doesn't go rancid. Um, that's the other thing. You can keep um, a tallow once you've rendered it. Uh, for a very long time, and I've had some. I have some tallow that I've kept. Uh, it that you know, it you can sniff it, smell it. Doesn't smell like anything. Bugs don't get at it. It's it's really interesting. So uh, right now I'm just gonna go ahead and, and cut this open here, and uh, just pull this out. And what we want to do is we want to we want to cube it. Sorry if I'm going out of frame. So yeah, get rid of that. Okay, so basically, you want to take this and you want to cube this. It's easy to cut, you know. Just cut it, cut it, cut it apart. But all it is is fat. That's all it is. Poultry fat doesn't work. Pork fat does not work. It has to be from a a, a, a hooved animal like a deer, or steer, um, horse. I'm sure, uh, in order to make this product and from a primitive standpoint this is what you want to get or keep keep when you have um, uh, hunted or when you're gutting or uh, even tanning uh, because on the uh, inside of the the hide there's usually a layer of fat or some fat and so you can scrape that off and you can make tallow from that. And so right now, all you want to do is just basically just chop this in little pieces, like so. Watch my fingers. So yeah, basically we just chop this in little pieces. Easier for frying. And that's how we're going to render this down. Um, and uh, this is, yeah, this is just basically, that's all it is, is fat. And you can get it in the meat, meat section of the supermarket as um, suet. And there it is. Take a little bit of this and stick it in here. And start to fry it up. Actually, all of it can kind of go. And this will just render down into fat. To grease. Basically, just fry it up. It'll do its thing. I've got this on slightly over medium high. Um, I don't want to cook it too fast. Uh, otherwise, you could burn it, and um, I don't think that I don't think that gives the best product. So, about medium high heat. 
I don't really like electric stoves. So, but they tend to regulate somewhat. Prefer to be cooking on a gas stove. But yeah, this will go ahead and, and render down, and you can probably already see the liquid that's already forming there. And that liquid is the tallow or the grease that we can use to make uh, candles, torches, lamps, lubricate, uh, and waterproof uh, things, you know, waterproof boots, mucklucks, moccasins, um, waterproof things like skis, snowshoes, other wood products. Um, so it's very highly useful as a as a tool for making primitive lights it's not like paraffin or candle wax because it it has kind of a smell to it it's not very uh, non-fragrant or at least not fragrant to the point where it's like oh that smells good it's not scented candles I've never added uh, what do you call uh, essential oils to it. I can imagine one can make a candle or make a lamp with a, add some essential oil to it and that might you know that might make it smell better I guess but um, but for utilitarian purposes for straight need then you know who cares you know whether it smells pretty or not I mean it's just you just you're just burning fat and oil and that's just what needs to be known in my opinion. So as you can see, that's rendering down nicely. That's just frying up. Okay, this is rendered down quite nicely under medium-high heat. And what doesn't melt down um, becomes basically crackling or skins as I was growing up knowing to eat and I love me some skins um, that that's what I have this for um, to sift out when we're all done and just salt those up and that's edible it's not very health conscious but it tastes mm, good so I'm just gonna let this go a little bit more turn on the heat because again I don't want to burn this I just want it to melt I'm going to burn this I just want it to melt and sometimes when you're cooking all you have to do is just kind of raise it up a little bit just to get it off the direct heat keep the stirring going <laughs> 